Hello there. I wanted to make a quick video. I won't keep you for long. Addressing the topic of this coronavirus that I've been seeing all over the social media. First off, I want to say prayers go out to anyone who's been affected by this. What a horrible way to go. It's essentially like pneumonia. You're drowning in your own fluids. But the first slide I wanted to show you was this tweet by Paul Joseph Watson. And I'll just read what he said here. A biosafety level 4 laboratory that studies the world's most dangerous pathogens is based in Wuhan, the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in China, leading some to claim that the virus could have accidentally escaped the lab. Or maybe it was set loose on purpose. This whole eugenics bioweapon war, it's, it's always been something that's been on the table. But of course, the first thing I noticed... When I went to try to search for any information about this, I noticed the Orwellian 1984 Google search engine, of course, has all their Orwellian fact checks, quote unquote, fact checks, right at the top of the search result, making sure that you don't have too much to think. Everything at the very top tells you don't be a conspiracy theorist, don't be a tinfoil hat. We've checked these facts for you, and you don't have to do any more thinking. The idea that this virus, like Ebola, was patented and probably genetically engineered. But Google says anyone who thinks that is just a conspiracy theorist and we've had too much to think. However, another quick little search found this. Oh, apparently the European Patent Office has the coronavirus listed as EP3172319B1. Hmm, that's not weird or anything. So I guess Google doesn't want you to... Uh, know that, apparently. But uh, I also got this slide here from The Cutting Edge with John Hall. Big shout out to all the Now You See TV crew. As it talks about the victim cases in Thailand, Vietnam, the USA, Singapore, Maku, if I'm pronouncing that right, the UK, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Japan, South Korea. So apparently there's been at least eight, 830 cases and 25 deaths, but we don't know if these stats are skewed. When it got out, immediately, of course, it always seems to go down the same way. Somebody who's infected gets on an airplane and ends up heading to other countries like the UK and the one case in America and Washington State. And it's like, that seems just too controlled, like too convenient that it just all of a sudden, right? Another slide I got from NICE TV talking about how the coronavirus attacks the cells in the respiratory system. So it might just seem like a bad flu, but in the end it's fatal. It would be like dying from pneumonia, how severe pneumonia can kill people by causing them to literally drown in the fluid of their own lungs. The virus also causes the swelling in the respiratory system, which can make it hard for the lungs to process oxygen into the bloodstream, leading to organ failure and death. And I just thought, what a horrible way to go, and my prayers go out to anyone who's infected by this. But the simple truth is, if this was genetically engineered, that means it's a bioweapon, and these people were murdered. Or if it was just accidentally released, who knows. But another city is shut down in China, 20 million quarantined, city trains are closing, thousands walking around not knowing if they're sick, and this was just from yesterday. So this is apparently spreading, like wildfire, obviously. But then I go and I see uh, a post like this. And there's that Freemason number again, right? 33, I guess that means it's real. You know, the coronavirus. Chinese hospitals in chaos as lockdown spreads to affect 33 million people. Really? 33? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, top Boston news. Nine screened for coronavirus at login. 33% of renters look more out. Like, what? Is that like a message that they're sending to the rest of the world for those who know that uh, this was, you know, set up? I find the idea that anyone would believe the official cover story to be ludicrous. Just like Ebola, if this is patented, that means it was designed, and that means it's not a naturally occurring thing, and that means it was created on purpose to kill people. But then I saw this meme, and I had to laugh. Whether you want to get mad at me for making light of this situation or not, I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, if we could just go ahead and start calling the Chinese coronavirus the Kung Flu... That would be great. Now, I don't know who made this meme, but this is like, whoever they are is a top shelf meme lord for sure. I wish I could say that I came up with this, but... But again, all joking aside, I find it disgusting that Google 
damage control, this Orwellian nightmare machine AI, which found me 637,000 results in 0.4 seconds. And the top one is social media posts spread bogus coronavirus, kung flu, conspiracy theory. You know, they got to throw that word in there. They're the dreaded conspiracy theory. And of course, QAnon supporters and anti-vaxxers are immediately labeled as hoaxers that Bill Gates created the coronavirus. Well, I don't know about that specifically, but I find it interesting that it's the top post. You know, got to slam those conspiracy theorists. Or here, here's another one. Social media posts spread bogus kung flu conspiracy theories. Uh Uh-huh. So it's not bad enough that this was patented, but they're straight up lying and saying it wasn't. Like, that's insane that these monsters that run Google can get away with that. You know, patents being shared online are not related. Oh, yeah. So from what I can tell, you're going to have to go through, you know, a couple hundred of these propaganda attack pieces just to get at any truth, you know. QAnon, it's the same thing over and over again, even that. Oh, look at this here. And there's that patent number again. But Google says, no, 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 no. You've had too much to think, you know. And so this idea, oh, here's another one. The coronavirus kung flu plaguing China was not created in the U.S. Well, I never really would have assumed it was. Like I said, the first slide, according to Paul Joseph Watson, it was a virus that was being studied in that it was being studied in that lab in Wuhan. Ooh, they're warning that, ooh, Canadians should be terrified. That's what they want in a, in a lot of ways, is just for you to be terrified and in a constant state of fear. And I say bollocks on all of that. I say bollocks on all of it. I won't, I won't waste my time. It's the same thing with the Ebola, with SARS, with the bird flu, with mad cow. It's just a constant state of fear porn they want you to be in. And so I say Google and all this nonsense, you can get bent because it's clear there's something up with this and the truth will get out no matter what. No matter how much the criminals that run Google and YouTube like Sundar Pinchy and Susan Wojcicki want to try to contain the truth, the truth will get out and in the end they will be punished for what they've done. God will deal with the creeps like them because essentially the only thing worse in my opinion than people who would create viruses like this are people who would lie to the people about how they got started just because, you know, they're just following orders or it's a game to them. Or maybe it's just the simple fact that the elite see humanity as a bunch of goyim cattle that are food on the table and that they deserve what they get. So I don't buy into that nonsense and I'm urging everyone out there listening to this video to do your own research. Don't believe a word I say. Research everything I say until you're blue in the face. And for sure, don't trust Google. So peace out.